One of the most intriguing deals on deadline day involved a player who didn't actually go anywhere. Tottenham Hotspur managed to strike two interconnected agreements with Spanish club Real Batiste just before the transfer window closed until January. The first deal was fairly standard, with Giovanni Lo Celso returning to the La Liga side after failing to make his mark in North London following his £27 million transfer in January 2020. After spending the last season, and, a, half on loan at Villarreal and not fitting into Ange Postecoglou's plans, his exit was expected, albeit for what seems to be a surprisingly low fee of £3 million. However, this is a nominal figure linked to Tottenham's other deal with Batiste, which has raised eyebrows. Spurs have reportedly secured a priority option on highly rated US international midfielder Johnny Cardoso. This means they will have first dibs to sign the 22 year old for £25.2 million in the future. But that's not all. Spurs are also said to have negotiated a sell on clause for Cardoso meaning they would receive a portion of the fee if the player signs for another club. As a result, Tottenham could financially gain from the sale of a player who never even kicks a ball for the club. However, given Cardoso's growing reputation, both domestically and internationally, it would be surprising if Spurs don't exercise their option to sign him. Postacoglu, with a surplus of midfielders at his disposal, isn't in a rush. Tottenham have kept quiet on the Cardoso deal and are not expected to break their silence. Premier League fans might find the agreement out of the ordinary, but such deals are more commonplace elsewhere in the footballing world. This strategy could keep Spurs ahead in the race for a player who has also caught the eye of heavyweights like Barcelona and AC Milan. Have your say. What do you think of this deal? Tell us in the comments section below. Cardoso, known as Johnny on his shirt, may play for the US team but his roots are in Brazil. Born in New Jersey to Brazilian parents seeking a better future in the States, they returned to Brazil after he was born. Before his transfer to Batiste earlier this year, where he quickly became a key player, he racked up 144 appearances for Internacional. Despite his dual heritage, choosing to represent the US over Brazil was a no, Brainer for Cardoso. When the chance came to play for the US, I didn't think twice, he said via The Athletic. In representing a country that my parents love. Cardoso's reputation as a no-nonsense defensive midfielder suggests he could bring some much-needed grit to Tottenham's squad if he ever dons the iconic white shirt. Join our new WhatsApp community privacy notice.